Good morning. I welcome all of you to this time to be together as God's people and to worship. I welcome those who are here regularly, those who are returning, those who are new to our congregation, um, visiting for the first time, and those who are with us today um, by, um, by our online um, worship service. I welcome you to this day. Please remember to fill out your connection cards before you leave or um, while you are online. There is a place to do that as well. We have a lot of announcements, and so I share them with you today. A lot is going on. Um, the prayer portion of our Radical Justice Prayer and Action Challenge has con is concluding today. Every day from June 19th, which was Juneteenth Day to today, daily prayers were provided online and via Facebook. And I hope that you got to share some of those, to see some of those. And if you haven't, um, you can go back and look at them. They'll be online yet for a while. It was powerful to hear so many different voices and so many groups of people reciting um, prayers with passion and with conviction. And we, we offer a special thank you to Alex Moore and Alanda Moore, who scheduled, produced, and edited all of the segments and beautiful church and community background photos um, that enhanced those prayers so much. They were beautiful. Thanks to Shimon Croxton for communications and design coordinator for taking on the task of posting those new prayers every single day. <clears throat> the action portion of the challenge will continue through August, and we'll talk about that a little bit later, but look for those continued articles and weekly announcements about those. And then the, action, the prayer service um, that we will be sharing in today will follow this service it, it will be in recognition of the end of the 42 days of community prayers that have been recorded and available online. A short prayer service will be um, on the lawn and on the Sheridan Road side of the building, so um, please stay and join us out there. It won't be very long, and there will be some delicious um, food from around the globe that will be offered, and it will be in individual packets, so you can eat it here or you can take it with you. But um, please, if you are, are able to, stay for that special moment to share together in celebration. And moving on to some other announcements, a reminder that the United, United Women in Faith have their blessing bags back out in the great room, so um, please take as many as you'd like. They're bags that can be given to anyone that you come across that might be in need, someone who's on the street corner asking for help, or someone that you come across um, in your daily routine that may need a little food or um, some nourishment or some care in somewhere. There's a lot of goodies in there to just help um, people. And again, we thank the Humphrey Shaw family for putting those bags together. It's not too late to sign up for Stina Reno's Chicago Food and Walk Tour, so there's information out there, and you can sign up online with, with, Rena, or St with Stina. Um, and then a new opportunity for volunteering. On Friday, August 5th, the first Water Safety and Family Night will be held at Washington Pool from 6 to 8 p.m. Church and Society member Mary Rhodes has been a key member in putting this together and is, is helping with sponsoring it. And they need some help from our church. They need to, um, we've been asked to partner with Coleman Chapel AME to offer games on the grass during the time next to the pool. It'll be a, a place for overflow of the crowd and for children and for people to just sort of enjoy themselves. So things like cornhole and parachute and horseshoes. And we need um, three more volunteers from this church to be a part of that night. And so you can go back to the newsletter online or in your email and contact Mary Rhodes through her email address, which is there, and let her know that you are willing to help with those games. Then Cush Congregations United to Serve Humanity um, is standing with, we stand with them, and they're standing against the anti-Semitic leafleting and racism of all forms, that some of which has been happening in our community. If you've been watching and paying attention, attention you've heard about that. And they're trying to um, put together some rapid response teams. If you're willing to do that and go to the training on August 10th at 6.30 via Zoom, Please go back to the newsletter and sign up to do that. And the teams will be going out. Um, my understanding is that they'll go out, and when people put leaflets out and we become aware of them, they'll go out 
and remove those leaflets and destroy them, get them back out of circulation. So um, if you're willing and able to do that, please sign up to do that. And two more announcements. One is that the youth are painting, and um, they are painting their whole school, their whole youth in Sunday school wing upstairs. And that paint has been on 